Ahoy! Welcome to Slim Film Festival Bubbles. I think it was uh, Diana Ross who once sung I Want Bubbles. Uh, so we give you bubbles and today in our festival bubble are three of the most sparkling, most bubbling guests of this year's festival. Uh, the director, scriptwriter and main actress of a film called Billy Blue, coming all the way from Quebec. We have uh, Marie-Lou Wolf, who's the director, we have Lillian Skelly, who's the main actress, and we have Sarah Maud Beauchene, who is the scriptwriter. And actually the film was for the first time screened here in Zlin with a real audience. And it was the Zlin audience, it was like the world premiere. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it and was... How, uh, just for the for your information or the for the the people watching this it was not really a children's audience because you were the opening film so besides children you also had the beau monde of uh, the entire czech republic but already we did both so it was amazing for us but you cho it's true that yesterday it was uh, only like uh, <laughs> adults and it was not the um, uh, our uh, it was not teenagers mm -hmm. but it was very a nice experience because after the movie we met people um, and they they told us how much they loved the movie so we were very very happy of that i was supposed to tell you the same but yeah i didn't do it yet Aww. but i'll tell you later how much okay, i loved okay okay and this morning we uh the movie has been shown uh, with teenagers which is was Really fantastic because after that we have a Q and A, and they ask questions and they add comments and they were really uh, into it. So um, for us, it's uh, a relief. Good. <laughs> Happy to hear that that Zlin gave you some relief. Uh, Sarah Maud, uh, you wrote the script of this film, so maybe you're the best placed person to summarize the whole story in let's say five sentences that's short <laughs> um well i'm a, a book writer uh -huh. at first so i wrote a book 10 years ago uh, called billy blue uh, in french and um it, it it got a really great success in quebec so um i wrote a script and this is the script that everybody saw yesterday and this morning in zlin and it's a story about my my teenage years and my teenage summer in quebec i was working at a water park for the, my whole teenage years and it was the greatest weirdest most intense experience for my teenage heart so um, the, the movie is about all the first that I lived uh, during the the summer of my 16 year 16th year mm -hmm. so it's a, a lot a, about love and friendship and uh, growing growing up and discovering desire Super. it's a very teenage subject um, and it's also very strongly connected to summer and there is summer throughout the whole movie and it's a really important part of the movie is the, the summer feeling. Maybe uh, Mary, Lou, Mary Lou, you can describe us how you got this summer feeling into the... That's a good question because, <laughs> because we shot the movie at fall. <laughs> <laughs> and late fall for some scenes which was very cold for the actors because we have a lot of scene in the pool I guess I know what my next question is now yeah so they were freezing really and we finished it because they were one night was too cold so we finished the scene in the studio like two months after that we finished the shoot because it was too cold. Uh, so uh, for the feeling of the summer, um, we chose um, a place uh, like uh, it's an hour from Montreal, which is the country and mm -hmm. uh, we have we have that has uh, many uh, nice uh, trees and they, they still were uh, green. So <laughs> it is good for the image uh, of summer and. Um, uh, unfortunately, it wasn't so sunny when we shot the movie, but I, the the, the actors helps with the yeah uh, with uh, and the clothes and the music. I tried to put some really lively music, really fun music, really summer music. Music. Actually, vibe. that was a remark I heard after the screening from a Czech producer when she told me. These people must have paid a fortune for their soundtrack. Because <laughs> um, it's all summer hits and it's all yeah. famous and it's all uplifting music. Too. Yeah, it's true. Um, I fought for that. <laughs> and it was important for me 
to put some really nice music because I think that the teenagers it's important for mm-hmm. teenagers music and um, but we were um, really precise because before we had like I think uh, 12 others very uh, successful songs but we, I had to choose so I chose two or three really uh, specific one mm-hmm. and after that we uh, it, it, it's the important is w- when you put the music in the film yeah. so you feel that we have many but we don't have so many okay <laughs> um, Lilian talking about a uh, swimming pool in, in autumn um, of course I want to know how it was but I also want to know because the film is somehow um, it has different chapters that all every time are defined by you swimming in this magical, beautiful dream scenes uh, or dreamy scenes. Um, Can you tell me something about the scenes shot in the swimming pool, whether it was cold or whether it was dreamy? (laughs) Okay, yeah. Um, So the scenes uh, that we filmed in the aqua park, uh, not the dream scenes, those Mm -hmm. were done separately in a a pool, like in a inside. (laughs) Mm -hmm. So all the outside pool scenes, we were actually lucky on some days. It was really warm uh, in September, but then uh, some nights when we were filming at night, uh, I remember that scene that we had to finish in the studio. It was like 10 degrees going in the water that was not heated. <laughs> so um, that was really, that was a challenge. But the team was always there, like warming us up. We had a car ready to jump in right after the scene. We had like jackets, so uh, well supported throughout all that. And those uh, dreamlike scenes uh, that were done um, underwater with an underwater camera, uh, we had trainings, me and some other actors, before doing those scenes. So how to mm-hmm. control our, our breath. We did some breath work and uh, all of that, the routine, how to stay underwater for okay. as long as possible and be comfortable. I have a million more questions for you, but unfortunately we only have time for one very uh, important last question because you are in Zlin and as you might have noticed the glorious empire of the city of Zlin is built on one thing and that's shoes but a shoe factory so I want to ask you um, could you put your feet on the table and uh, does somebody has a nice story about the shoes she's wearing today actually you all have a story about shoes you might not realize it but you have one uh, we're three women that love fashion in a different way so uh, outfits were really important for Zlin and for the premiere. Mm-hmm. So we all gathered and chose and what to wear and prepared ourselves. So and the shoes is a part of it. And today is a sneaker day for Lilian because she she hurts. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you have a story about I'm your wearing shoes? a yeah. local brand, uh, a woman made local brand from Montreal called Maguire. So uh-huh. I always like to represent women in how I wear. So. Cool. Shout out to my Grauer and, uh, <laughs> but they're pretty. So, yeah. but we travel with carry on. So yeah. we. Uh, <laughs> no, I have nothing to say. I like uh, sandals. It's sunny okay. outside. But you travel with carry on, so you carry your shoes on uh, your feet. <laughs> it's a carry on, so we d- we had to choose specifically what we are gonna wear in Zlin. You had to. Shoes, oh, specifically. Oh, shoes, I love it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, it was great having you here. Thank you for being in our festival bubble and I also the, hope the audience will visit our festival bubble and enjoy it. Thank you so much. See you next time.